mis amores and welcome back to my channel. I am so excited to be bringing you this video. You have no idea. Oh, I'm so excited. <laughs> So it's gonna be a really short intro because I'm like ready to dive in. But for today's video, as you guys can see by the title, I am going to be testing a bunch of Tarte Shape Tape dupes. Yes, not one, two, three, four, but five drugstore dupes. I know, you can thank me later. <laughs> but as always, before we go ahead and get started, don't forget to subscribe by hitting that red button down below. And also don't forget to turn on that bell notification so you're notified every time I upload a new video. And if you are new to my channel, welcome. My name is Sheila. I am so happy to have you guys here and I hope you guys are happy to be here as well. So yeah, if you guys wanna go ahead and see what drugstore concealers I put to the test and if you need to go get them because they are a perfect dupe for Tarte Shape Tape, then just keep on watching. Okay, so one of the reasons that I am so excited about this video is because Tarte Shape Tape is such a popular concealer and the fact that I was able to test out five dupes, yes, five dupes that are super affordable, super accessible, drugstore, is pretty amazing if I do say so myself. So I'm pretty sure this is gonna be kind of a long video because I am gonna be giving you information, showing you guys the difference, trying them out, so just bear with me. Remember that you guys can always speed up this video so it's two times faster. You can still understand what I'm saying, but it'll just go quicker so you guys can kind of see everything so, so much faster. It's incredible I love doing that <laughs> but before we go ahead and start getting into our five dupes I want to go ahead and give you a little bit of information on the Tarte Shape Tape okay so this is Tarte Shape Tape they currently have 14 shades the price is $27 you can purchase this on Tarte's website and is also an Ulta exclusive now this is a full coverage concealer with a matte finish so just so you guys know I actually really do love the Shape Tape I go through phases where I use it a lot and then I don't use it because I feel like when I use it too too frequently Frequently, it tends to dry out my under eye area and I don't really like that. I already have dry skin. So it's something that I can't use for long periods of time because I definitely do notice more dryness in my under eye area. But I do enjoy the concealer and the coverage. I love full coverage and it works really, really great. So now I'm going to be introducing the five drugstore dupes for you guys. So the way I'm going to be doing this is I'm going to be giving you information about each of the concealers. I'm going to be giving you pricing. With that pricing, just keep in mind that this is Ulta pricing. The reason I wanted to go ahead and give you the pricing from Ulta is because Tarte Shape Tape is exclusive to Ulta, so I wanted you guys to be able to compare pricing from the same store. But also keep in mind that Ulta, when it comes to drugstore, tends to be a little bit more on the high end. For the most part, you guys can definitely purchase these concealers a little bit cheaper. Another thing that I'm going to be doing is comparing each drugstore concealer to the three shades I currently have from Tarte Shape Tape, which is Fair, Fair Neutral, and Light Sand. And that way you guys can see them side by side and see how the shades compare between both brands. And lastly, I'm gonna go ahead and be bringing you guys in closer, like a lot closer, with no makeup on, so you have been warned. So you guys can go ahead and see my imperfections, see my dark circles, and I'm gonna be testing both of these concealers, one on each side, so you guys can go ahead and see how the coverage is, how it looks up close and personal, and how they are performing. So I'm gonna be doing that for each of the five concealers, so let's jump right in. So this is Maybelline Instant Age Rewind. They currently have 12 shades, which actually they just added six of those shades. So it used to be only six, but they just added six more, which is amazing. Now the price for this is $8.99 from Ulta, as I mentioned. But another thing that I want you guys to know is that Ulta is currently only carrying six shades. So the six original shades, they still haven't added the additional six that they just came out with. I'm not sure when they're going to be added to Ulta, but I just wanted to let you guys know. Now this does claim to conceal dark circles and fine lines. It doesn't say what finish it has, but to me it's almost like a powdery finish. Like you don't necessarily need to set it, which is really, really nice. And this is how it compares with the Tarte Shape Tape concealers. So I would say for the most part they actually look quite similar with the exception that I feel like the Maybelline one is actually giving me a little bit more coverage. I feel like on the Tarte side you could still see a little bit of my under eye dark circles and in this one it's hidden a lot better. This one is Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define Full Coverage Conceal and Contour. <laughs> That's really long. They currently have 18 shades and this retails for $7. Now you can purchase this at Ulta or on their website online. They do claim it to be lightweight full coverage with a matte finish and then this is how it compares with Tarte Shape Tape. Thank you. 
So coverage wise, it actually looks the same. I feel like the Tarte side looks a little bit brighter just because the concealer shade that I used was a little bit brighter than the Makeup Revolution one. But other than that, I feel like the coverage is the same. It's so, so crazy. I feel like even the consistency of the actual concealer feels the same as well. Ooh, how exciting. This is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Concealer. They currently carry six shades. Price is $3.99. They claim it to be a high coverage, creamy, luminous concealer. And this is how it compares with Tarte Shape Tape. So I do think that the Shape Tape gives you more coverage. I feel like the Wet n Wild gives you a good amount of coverage, but you could definitely still see my under eye circles, especially here you can see the discoloration. I don't know if the camera is picking it up, but in person you can definitely tell the difference. Is it a huge, huge, huge difference? No, but you can totally see that there is a difference. But honestly, I'm still impressed with how good of coverage the Wet n Wild one provided. I thought it was gonna be very, very light coverage, but it actually looks really, really good. This is Catrice Liquid Camo Camouflage concealer. They currently only have three shades. The price is $5.99. They currently sell it at Ulta and on their website as well. It is a high coverage waterproof concealer and this is how it compares with Tarte Shape Tape. Okay, so these are actually very similar. They look the same, literally the same. I almost feel like the Catrice one is giving me a little bit more coverage compared to the Tarte one. I actually think this is a really good dupe. Ooh. This is the No Filter Concealer from ColourPop. They currently have 15 shades. They sell for $6. You can purchase this on ColourPop's website. It is a full coverage matte finish concealer. And this is how the three shades compared to the three shades from Tarte Shape Tape. So the Tarte Shape Tape actually offers more coverage in my opinion compared to the ColourPop one. The coverage is actually not that bad in comparison. I just feel like ColourPop one lets a little bit more show in comparison to the Tarte one. Okay, so now that we went ahead and tried all the concealers, I'm gonna go ahead and pick the one I feel like it's closest as a dupe for the Tarte Shape Tape. Then I'm gonna go ahead and do my makeup so you guys can see how it works with other products. And then I am going to reveal my final pick. Okay, so this is after I went ahead and did my makeup. I'm going to be giving you a little bit more information on which one I picked, why I picked it, but I just wanted you guys to go ahead and see it up close first. So this is the one from Tarte, and then this is a mystery one that I went ahead and picked. Okay, so honestly, these were all such amazing dupes, like really, really good dupes. But what I want to go ahead and do is kind of rank them for you guys, just because obviously you have so many options. It's like, which one do you get first? <laughs> so I'm going to be ranking them for you guys from best to worst, but keep in mind that even the worst is really, really good. So let's go ahead and start with number five. My worst or my number five was Catrice Liquid Camouflage. And I'm going to tell you guys why. This is actually such a great concern concealer like such a great concealer it compares to chart shape tape so so good the only reason I'm putting it last is because they have three shades which is pathetic like it's pathetic because it's such a good dupe like I wish more people could try this and that's the reason I'm putting it last because honestly this is so good this would be number two for me. That is how great it compares to the Tarte Shape Tape, but not a lot of people can try it. They literally have three shades. Like, it's insane how that's even possible. So hopefully, eventually, they expand their line, and if they do, I definitely recommend for you guys to try this one because it's actually really, really good, and it compares really, really great with Tarte Shape Tape. The only thing is, obviously, the shades. It's super affordable, and the other thing is that it has a very strong scent. So if you don't like scents, you may not like this, it's almost kind of like flowery-ish or like perfumish. I don't know. It's a really, really strong, strong scent. So I did want to go ahead and throw the scent thing out there because it's very 
strong but honestly I am so disappointed that they only have three shades because quality wise it's actually really great as a tart shape tape dupe number four I have the wet and wild photo focus concealer this actually did a lot better performance wise than I thought the reason it's number four is because it only has six shades but I definitely think that the Catrice one is better than this one but they only have six shades which is crazy to me because wet and wild it has so many products they're launching so many many things all the time and I feel like they're really stepping up their game that you would think that they would expand this because it is such a good product. The coverage isn't as great as the Tarte Shape Tape but I do think that it definitely is a dupe for a more affordable price. It's only $3.99 which is crazy so hopefully eventually they will also expand their line. I use the color Light Ivory and this is not a color that I would use to go ahead and brighten my face. This is something that I can wear that's similar to my skin tone so I wish they had something lighter but they don't but other than that it's actually a really great concealer. Number three I have the ColourPop No Filter Concealer concealer. I actually really love this concealer. As you guys saw when I did the swatches, I have three shades. The reason I have three is because when I first bought the first concealer, it tends to oxidize a little bit. So it does get a little bit darker and it ended up being very similar to my skin tone. And as you guys know, I like kind of like a brightening concealer. So that's why I got two other ones because I didn't know how much more they were going to oxidize. So that's why I have three, but I actually really, really like these. I think the coverage is amazing. They they feel very very lightweight they're definitely buildable and they're super super affordable the only thing is that this is the only one that you can't buy at a store you do have to purchase it online so some people don't like that but honestly these are so so amazing number two is the Maybelline instant age rewind I love this concealer so much so that I have backups I also really love that they just expanded their shades I feel like it's so amazing because Finally, deeper complexions can go ahead and try this and see what everybody was talking about because I feel like it's such a good concealer. I almost feel like the coverage for this is almost a little bit better in my opinion compared to Shape Tape. I really, really love this. It has kind of like a powdery finish, like you almost don't have to set it. So it's really, really nice. The applicator, at first, it's kind of weird. I didn't think I was gonna like it, but I do like it to apply it. Obviously, I don't use that to blend it, but I do really enjoy this concealer so, so much. This is like a staple. Everybody needs to try this concealer because it is so good. Okay, and as you guys already know, I'm sure, my number one was the Makeup Revolution. Wait, let me get this name because it's really, really long. Conceal and Define Full Coverage Conceal and Contour. Yes. This was my favorite. It worked really, really well with my other products. As you guys can see, my nail just fell off. It worked really great with my other products. I didn't have any issues. It looks like I'm wearing the same concealer on both sides, even though we know one side was a lot cheaper than the other one. But it works really, really great. I definitely do recommend this one. I think it is amazing that they carry 18 shades, that it's only 7 bucks. And that it's also full coverage, which is something that I really, really enjoy in concealers. So yeah, I hope this video was super helpful for you guys. If you have been trying to find a chart Shape Tape dupe, or even if you're just trying to find other full coverage concealers that won't break the bank. As always, don't forget to go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. This is my nail phone. <laughs> if you like it, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And don't forget that you guys can always follow me on Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter, and on Facebook. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I love you, and I'll see you on Sunday with a new video. Bye!